An investigation is underway into an incident where police pepper sprayed and tased a man at a gas station last week in Little Village, and it was captured on cell phone video. Thirty-year-old Angel Ramirez was recording officers who were making a traffic stop. Police told him to stop recording and move away from the scene. You're watching what happened after that. Ramirez was ultimately restrained, hit with the pepper spray, and then tased twice before collapsing on the ground. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability, or COPA, says it is investigating. Ramirez is due in court next month on charges. Here we are on the uh, west side of the city. The sort of the product news. The 10th district. The 10th district encompasses the holy city. A city, uh, a name for a part of the city given to it by the vice lords. Uh, notorious street gang. It also encompasses Little Village. Little Village is an actual name. Uh, recognized by the city of the Chicago. Uh, the holy city is not. Uh, Little Village is uh, where uh, mostly, it's predominantly Mexican. Chicago is the most segregated city in the country. And uh, there are little boroughs or little spots where each uh, nationality lives. And uh, Little Little Village is the epicenter of uh, Mexican life here in uh, the Chicago area right across the street we got here legacy school looks like they just built it that's a fine looking school anyways here we are at the 10th district we'll go inside the 10th district and see what's going on here inside the 10th district reward missing somebody please help me find aiden well if anybody sees aiden Give him a call. Oh, they got a horse here. Usually they got dogs, but today we got a horse. That's unbelievable. That's fantastic, fantastic. How's it going, guys? What do you, what do you say? What do you do? Oh, there. Look at this gentleman's got the hat on. You don't usually see that. From the old style, I prefer the old style to the new style for the young guys. My man, my man, taking it old school. There you go. Yeah, well, excuse me, it's my time to leave. Nice meeting you, sir. Nice Welcome meeting you. Holiday. Nice meeting you. Uh, ma'am, is this uh, the 10th district, does it encompass Little Village? Yeah, I'm actually currently on a report right now. Okay, well, you take your time, take your time. Is there a place where I sign in, ma'am? Do I sign in somewhere or do I just wait until someone... Someone will be able to assist you, okay? Okay. I don't mean to talk to you while you're doing your report. She must be filling out a report for the Department of Justice. She needs every single brain cell she's got. To quali very, very important stuff going on over there. So anyways, what they're doing now is they're doing uh, outside roll calls. They're doing roll calls in the community. This is also the same district in the summer where a man by the name of Angel Martinez was tased for videotaping uh, an arrest inside a gas station. So they said they will tase you if you go to the 10th district and uh, videotape. So I came here to videotape and uh, here I am in the 10th district. They might try and tase me from behind or something. They got rocking horses. There's just it, it, there's just a rocking horse there, for for some reason I don't know an old dirty rocking horse, just sitting on the windowsill. Oh, maybe it has something to do with the horse. It's, there's a horse theme. Got this horse, and then you got the rocking horse. So there's a thing in Chicago that they just put up porcelain things of animals. It got started with bulls or cows a while ago, and they just kept on going, and now they got horses and dogs. And It didn't make sense when it started. It still doesn't make sense. But, uh, hell, bring in your rocking horse. You can put it right there.
being spied on up there. So this is the uh, this is the this is this is where the public's allowed. This is the people's building, and this is the um, the people's building. This is the lobby, obviously. I don't to get snacks. Some kind of party going on. There's always a party going on when I show up. She got one lady on the team. Somebody sent out a memo. Ignore the guy with the camera. I bet they can't do it. Look at them all up there. Look at them all waving. Look at them. Come on. No, no, don't run away from the window now. There, yeah, there you go. He's thumbs up. Look at They're all waiting up there by the camera. He's giving me the thumbs up. There was a whole bunch of them all the way there on the left. And uh, when the camera wasn't on them, they were all peeking their heads like little kids on like Christmas morning waiting for Santa Claus. And then when the camera came on, they disappeared. Sarge, can I talk to you when you get a second? Sure, take one minute. Okay, I'll take, take your time, take your time. Look, at, they, like, they've never seen somebody with a camera. They're literally fascinated. It's like little kids waiting for Santa Claus to come. Pretending like they're asleep when their parents aren't looking and they're just peeking out the window. Officer, are you doing a report? Are you? No, I'm not talking to you. I know you're doing a report. Are you doing a report, officer? Officer, I'm, this is me. I'm right in front of you. Can you see me? You feel brave, you You got chocolate all over your lips. Is there a reason why you're ignoring me when I'm trying to talk to you? Oh my God. <laughs> Holy moly. What in God's name? Oh my God. <laughs> well, you guys saw what I saw. <laughs> She's doing a report. She can't be bothered. Sir, are you doing a report? Or can you be bothered? Would I be bothering you if I would ask you a question? My man, Thomas, thank you. Uh, you guys are doing these um, open street roll calls, roll calls on the street. Do you have a, a schedule for that? I've actually never been part of one. Thing. You're familiar with it? I haven't done one, so not But sure. you are familiar with it? Sure. So it, what does it generally entail? Uh, just I, Like I said, I've never done one, so I don't know what it entails. I just know that there are roll calls that get done on the street or on that. Do you have uh, do you have like a caps paper for community meetings or some way I could get that information? For uh, well, I want to find out when. Well, anything in regards to uh, public activities with the Chicago Police Department. I would I figured you'd go through caps. Sorry, I'm just starting. No, no, take your time. Take your time, Thomas. I'm in no rush. You know, it's the people that pay your, your salary. You think if somebody came over and talked to you, you could either say, no, I'm busy, or, but just to ignore me while you stuff your face is kind of uh, ridiculous. But I will uh, forgive you for your rudeness. I don't know if the people will, though. Oh, you talked to him, but you didn't talk to me. I said, hey, how you doing? And Hey, how you doing? I guess you got to get a white shirt to talk. I always, how does that work? I said, what's up? And he acted like I was invisible. Unfortunately, the, the schedule doesn't have anything about outdoor roll calls. It just has the beat meeting. So if there's a specific beat you're interested in attending the meeting for, I can give you that info. But other than yeah. That, Could, yes. Can you give me that info, Thomas? What beat are you interested in going to the meeting for? 
I'm sorry. Which beat are you interested in going to a beat meeting for? So when you say beat, you're asking which which district or as in the specific beat within a district. So like ten eleven. Oh, I'd have to be that specific. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, could you give me all the beats in the on the in the um, district um, for fourteen? Yeah. We're in the 10th oh, I know where you're at. Oh, you. So you're you're only gonna give me that was what I was asking was is uh, I stopped in this police station to get I could get uh, information for anywhere in the city. As far as I know, we only have the information for caps related events for the 10th district, not 14. Okay. Is there is there a caps officer in which I can talk to? Okay. Is there some kind of paperwork, a phone number, an email, some way to get in contact with somebody? Because obviously, if you guys are doing these roll calls on the streets, you would want people to be present for them. There's got to be a way we... You want my heart? How was your Thanksgiving? All right, man. How was yours? Same old, same old. You know, you kind of build it up like something's going to happen, and it's just turkey and stuffing. And you're like, when does the fun start? But it never starts. But the Bears won, right? So that's a... I was actually at work, so I missed it. Oh, I thought you guys watched the games while you were here. Fortunately, no. That'd be nice, but the city needs to protect me. It does, it does. You're right. Whatever they, those guys are doing up there, you got to get into that beat. Whatever that beat is, because they hang out at the window and just smile and make faces for the past 20 minutes. So you well, got to get to that if one. If you go to the chicagopolice.org website, <clears throat> there's a tab for caps. It has everything listed for city service requests, events. Uh, what else we got? And it lists a bunch of different functions within the next couple weeks, honestly. I guess you can click on them and it takes you to further info. So, oh, on the actual website? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure there's a centralized place that tells you everything. I just don't know what that place is. I, I was assuming that. that, yeah, I'm sure that if you go to uh, Chicago, chicagopolice.org, there might be something. I might have to try that when I get uh, some free time. Because I'd like to uh, take part in one of those uh, open roll calls. I know you guys had one in your district about two, three weeks ago. There was an uptick in violence. I think there's about nine shootings. Actually, it was on furlough, so uh -oh. at that time I wasn't here. But there you go, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. What's your name, sir? Officer Thomas. Thomas, 4880. Yes, Officer, what's your name, ma'am? Please, what's your uh, star number? Hernandez, what's your star number? 715. Now time for the man of the hour. Sir, since we came in contact, Rule 37, CPD policies and directives, uh, can you give me your name, rank, and star number? Rule 37, CPD policies and directives. You are to give your name, rank, and star number to any member of the department or any member of the community on or off duty when requested. So again, sir, I'm going to ask you, can you give me your name, rank, and star number as it is obstructed by your uh, all the junk in your pockets? Okay, well, it's Kapoor. And I don't know what else because he just got stuff all stuffed down his pockets. Sarge, are you ready for me yet?
place in front of our house on 23rd Ridgeway, our guards are in the city, cutting the trees, and um, they tried to put a light pole fell on top of both our cars. I kind of feel like I cut in front of there, Sarge. What do you need, sir? I, I mean, I, I don't know. You, I, you haven't come over and talked to me yet. I just asked you, what do you need? What do you need? Well, I was, well, that's kind of rude. Why would you talk to me like that? I was talking to you nicely, no? I, I mean, I'm busy right now, so if you don't need anything, I'm Well, I do. I need yeah. to, I wanted to know where is, uh, exactly is, um, when do you have your outside duties, your outside uh, roll calls? Um, it, there's no set schedule. Oh, so it's just, so if I went to chicagopolice.org, I couldn't find it? You what? If I went to chicagopolice.org, it just pops up whenever? Um, as I know you had one on the 14th. If different crimes occur or different occurrences, then we have outdoor roles. And it, and it, They're it, not scheduled, like, every day. Oh, so they might come up with, like, 24, within 24 hours different and just... Areas. Okay, so, okay. That's what I was just looking for, just looking okay. for... Because yeah, like a I was interested in it. might focus on that area. Yes, thank you so much, ma'am. No Get these guys up here, they've been videotaping me while I've been videotaping them. It's cute. So much to do. Those guys got nothing to do. These guys got too much to do. Thomas, thank you, sir. You are a gentleman and a scholar. There you go, the 10th district. Always exciting. Oh, he's got the thin blue line phone with the thin blue line patch. Keep up the good work, guys. If you survive. Look at this guy. Look at this guy coming over here. Like he's following me out like I'm doing something wrong. There was a guy out there following me like I was doing something wrong. Look at him. Like they're, they're, they're little kids. They're like little kids. Like they can't get over the fact that I've come here with a camera. This other guy coming, he wanted to come out the door and he's hiding right there. He's hiding right there. He wants to act like he's going to come out the door, but then he doesn't come out the door. These are like little kids, honest to God. They're like little kids. Did you... This is good. Did you want me for something? It looked like you were about to ask me something. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you did want to ask me something. I don't know. <laughs> 